Welcome back to the channel guys. So today, as some of you of course have noticed, I'm not on the Super Duke. Uh, and that actually gave me a little topic of what this video is about and that's what is actually what got me into riding motorcycles. Um, so to make a short story really long, it's actually uh, Um, I've always been into like cars and and bikes in a way, but the stuff that really kicked it off was that whenever I turned, I believe it was, was around 10 years old or so, my grandparents bought themselves uh, an ATV and I thought, oh, oh, that was just so fun and you know, driving around on the fields uh, on that one they got and as years passed uh, my some in my family had a little motorcycle and whenever I was able to reach the ground they told me that I was allowed to drive it up and down their private road and that, I think actually that's what got me into motorcycling because I thought whoa that was really really fun and cool and all that so one day I wanted my own um, so years passed and all that stuff and in a way in a way I completely forgot it which sounds weird uh, but it was just a matter of being a, an apprentice uh, as a mechanic so money was a bit short I got my license so I could complete my you know my normal driving license so I could complete my uh, uh, apprenticeship that took four years the apprenticeship with the ground school for it all in all of four years and after that I was just working and one of my best friends he told me that that I needed to take my uh, biking license and I thought to myself yes sure but e even though I just finished my my apprenticeship uh, and you know got hired at the same place I was an apprentice money was still a bit short because usually a, a, a license in Denmark cost about two thousand dollars so it did seem a little far-fetched <coughs> and on top of that it was like okay so even even if I get my license how am I gonna uh, afford a, a bike So that actually ended up really killing, killing my mood in a way because it just seemed so far-fetched. So then I got another job on base after a few years and uh, started earning some good money and all that stuff. So I decided that now was the time. So I started my driving, uh, you know, my riding uh, test, the uh, license stuff. It's like we have, I can't remember how many hours of theory in a classroom. And then we have a certain amount of hours with an instructor. Uh, some on a closed course and some of uh, uh, some of the some of it on the open roads so that was uh, and then whenever I started the license I completely remembered how fun it was to ride so and then uh, I took my 
all my driving lesson, riding lessons, and uh, and uh, my exam on uh, was it a 600 or 650 Suzuki Bandit. An older, an older bike, but still, it, it did run really nice, and and I liked it a lot. Um, but whenever the time was that I managed to get my riding license and all that stuff, I eventually had to go back to work. And so, when I got my license, I had about one and a half week of vacation left. Uh, on my summer vacation and when I got back in December it's not uh, rideable weather and not all insurance allows you to ride in December and January and February so I didn't really have I, I didn't have a bike to ride on or anything like that but luckily my little brother he took his uh, driving no his uh, biking license uh, with me so he decided that he wanted to go out and invest in a motorcycle. So he was looking around the place for uh, the normal uh, racer, racer bikes and all that stuff. Uh, which is fine and all. But eventually after he tried sitting on, on my friend's GXXR 750, he realized that it wasn't comfortable in any way. So he decided to go for a naked bike and that's actually this MT-07 that I'm riding on right now. And uh, he was kind enough to let me borrow it for, for that one and a half week before I had to go back. So this, was, this bike was actually the first bike I rode on uh, after I got my license and I'm really grateful for him that he let me borrow his bike. That was really nice of him. Um, but he's always been a nice guy so that's nice. So the, the next season after that I bought my I decided to go out and buy myself a brand new MT-09, which is, according to a lot of people, a terrible beginner's bike, which they might be right in, but again, it depends on what you ask of it. If you don't twist the throttle as much, well, it's nice and easy to ride, and also the MT-09 had rider modes, so the first little while I actually did ride around in the, I can't remember, it was like, was it? No, I can't remember. It's weird how they, Yamaha describes those rider modes. But nevertheless, it was all, all fine and, and that. So, but that got me thinking, why? Or oh, what would I consider a really good beginner's bike? It depends on the people, I would say. If you're really mature and you can limit yourself, I think an MT-09 is fine. Uh, however, an MT-07 is such a fun bike. Uh, and for the money it costs, it's really, really good. And you got that cross-plane uh, two-cylinder engine which is really nice and all. The only thing I'm really missing is like a quick shifter of some sort, but I'm pretty sure that the reason why Yamaha haven't fitted quick shifters to, to the uh, MT-07s is actually that it might be, you know, a little quick from zero to 60 or so, but mm, that's just how it is. You can always fit some aftermarket stuff if you really want to. Um, so, for me, I would say an MT-07 is a really good bike to learn all the basics on because it's fun and it is decent, you know, quick. <clears throat> 
So I'm pretty sure that you wouldn't get bored of it right away. At least I wasn't. But of course I had to one-up my little brother. That's just how life is. <laughs> but uh, it, it does learn you the basics because it is reasonably talky, which will learn you to like rev match downshifts and and all that stuff if the road is slippery because that was actually the the first thing I noticed was that whenever it did rain just a little bit the reason why I know it was because right now this bike is limited to those 47 48 or 49 horsepower because it's in the medium group. In Denmark we have three license groups. It's 125 cc as the first, as the little little biking license. Then you have your, your middle one, which is, I can't quite remember, but I believe it's somewhere around the 48 horsepower or so. And then, of course, the big license is just everything. Uh, so he took uh, his medium license uh, because he wasn't old enough to to get the the big license. So this one is restricted to those 40 something horsepower. Uh, but still, it's a really it's a really enjoyable bike, and it if if you're curious about gas mileage and and all that stuff it's also very very good at that this one is fitted with aftermarket blinkers and uh, this little windscreen thingy and an exhaust and i believe also it has uh, axle sliders so the reason i'm out riding on this today is actually that my uh, little brothers bought a house and uh, right now my parents and him are working on that that house and I'm gonna bring his bike down to him so he has that one there it's about two almost a two hour ride so that's why I'm out riding on this today but it's so weird to come out and ride this again after so long. I still haven't gotten used to the fact that I don't have, a, you know, the quick shifter and uh, cruise control and all that stuff. It just goes to show how fast you can get used to something. And also why I think that the uh, MT-07 is a really good beginner's bike, it's because it's got that low low end torque. I know that in corners, if it's a little slippery and all that stuff, that that's dangerous. However, it's so easy to get going, you know, from a standstill and all that, because you do got that torque. And of course, I know that there's also other four-cylinder bikes out there with a lot of torque and all that stuff, but when you're thinking about, you know, the price of one of these, if you're looking at something new, it's hard to beat. It is a really nice bike. For show. One thing I've already noticed is that I thought the seat on the Superdoop was a little bit uncomfortable, but compared to this one, I would say this one is a little worse actually.
But uh, I had the MT-09 for a year, then I bought the Super Duke. So that's why whenever people say, is, is that a good beginner's bike? I'm like, mm, I'm really not the one to tell you what's a good beginner's bike or not. With the little riding, riding experience that I have. So that's why I usually end up telling people, do whatever you want, I'm not your mom or your dad. And also one thing that's really nice about the MT-07 is that it's so light. It's really light and easy to maneuver. And, and you have a really nice seating position that will make you be able to ride for many hours at a time. Suspension wise, it's very comfortable. I know that it's because it's the just the plain Yamaha suspension, which whenever I had my MT-09, it wasn't the SP version. But with the little riding experience that I have, whenever people were talking suspension, I had no clue of whatever they, whatever it was that they meant with all that stuff. Um, I felt it was good and, and all that stuff, but when I got my uh, Super Duke, I suddenly realized what it was people were talking about. I still know that you can get some better suspension for the Super Duke, but compared to, you know, the plain stock Yamaha suspension they fit on those uh, MT-09s compared to the Super Duke suspension, whoa, what a difference. So that's when I realized what they meant with with suspension and all that stuff, whatever. But I'm still no wizard in, in all of that because I don't do track days. I just, yeah, even though I would like to do a track day sometime and it, it might happen. But that's actually the little story about what got me into riding and after I got my license at and got a bike. I've just been hooked ever since. So, if you're watching this video, you don't have your license, uh, but you're considering, you know, getting your license and getting a bike, do it. If you just have the slightest, uh, what's it called, will to try it out, try it out. You won't regret it. It's such Yeah, it's such a nice feeling to be able to ride It's it always sounds weird and it's hard to describe for people that don't ride how it feels But it's in a way you feel free But all you riders out there, you know exactly what it is that I'm talking about it's a feeling you really can't describe to somebody that haven't tried it. So I always try and encourage people to try it out because most of them will end up loving it. I hope you like this video guys and uh, please feel free to comment down below how you uh, got into riding bikes, motorcycles um, and if you have any questions as usual you're more than welcome to comment down below but uh, other than that take care and ride safe guys I'll catch you in the next one bye